fighting demons in his life. Coached him through. Casting him away, speaking the name of Jesus. Coached him through the authority that he has. We have authority. The text got less frequent. I believe the Lord helped him. Had phone calls with him before. Prayed for him over the phone. Met him in a store. And just the overflow flowed into his life. I didn't have to say a word. He knew. The demons knew who I was. Because they know who Jesus is. He lives in me. He's my life my life it wants to be your life last week we talked about how you could run so far this way that you're running from God into sin and deep darkness I've been there I've been to the place of doing drugs dealing drugs And I've been to the other side so far this way that I'm serving God just to get something from Him. But I had to center up my life with Jesus and what He wanted for me. It was the best thing I could have ever done. Yesterday I was thinking... Just one yes when one person caused this. Caused the women's conference. Caused the man in Indianapolis to call at 3.30 in the morning knowing he could get help. What would it look like if we all were that way? If we were all were that available for Jesus. To use us however he seems fit. Why must we always make it about us? What we're getting or not getting. If you want applause for man, you'll get just that applause for man. I want it from God. I want the reward that He has, not that man has. First Corinthians nine nineteen says, For though I am free of all men, free of the fear of man, what men think about me, what people think about me, I'm free of that. It doesn't matter. You think what you want to think. I really don't care. I care what he thinks about me. But though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all so that I may win more. So I may, so you, may win more I don't know how this is going to speak to you today the harvest is ready but the laborers are few we need to turn that around God needs people that will serve him unconditionally God needs people that will play the background with no recognition at all from the world. I saw something yesterday. 
we're going to demonstrate what it looks like to bless somebody. God blessing somebody. I don't even think we've did offering today yet, have we? There's a bowl right here. You can put money in. There's a black box back there. You can give online. There's a card reader back there. <coughs> it's not about that. Either you're going to be obedient to Him and shouldn't have to be reminded every week. But God, listen, wants for you to just be obedient to Him. For me to be obedient to Him. Bay, I want you to come up front. right here. Right up here. I'm so honored to know her. She put a woman's conference together and she grabbed help from everywhere she could. She did such an amazing job. She charged a little for the conference. So people would come so they would be able to afford it. They couldn't afford it. She paid out of her own pocket. Was it not amazing, ladies? Every bit of it was amazing. She barely broke even. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to bless her. I think the kids in the back made more than she did. So this is how we're going to show you how the Lord wants to bless. So you are going to come and you're going to place money in her hand. I don't care if it's a dollar, if it's 10 cents. You're going to come up. You're going to thank her for her servanthood, for being obedient to Jesus. Give her whatever the Lord puts on your heart. Jason, can I share real quick? So there was over a hundred of us here yesterday. And it was mighty. There were 14 different churches represented. And about two years ago, the Lord gave her a vision and just spoke to her what to do for a women's conference. She'd had it in her spirit for years. And she was just obedient this past January she started meeting with some of us and she said I just feel it's time I feel like October 1st is supposed to be the date she had everything journaled from two years ago a year and a half ago and so it, it totally was amazing <laughs> who here raise your hand if if a lady or a man that was helping we, we just praise God even for the men that were here that helped serve in different ways um, yeah it was just a mighty conference of God again bringing life change to the women's hearts and I know the men were touched as well <laughs> you couldn't hear the testimonies and the teachings without being touched so we just honor Faye and, and just thank each and every one of you who've been praying and have poured in we know many of you poured in uh, finances to even cover some expenses even several months ago so we just um, 
we just want to bless her and um, thank you guys all the ways I believe it was Charlotte and um, oh I forget the other name Charlotte and her daughter made the lunch and it was beyond amazing <laughs> it was so good um, I had I didn't even know the people at the table that I sat with a uh, few of them I didn't know and they said it said a light lunch and we are undone by the food that we saw on the table so they just everyone went above and beyond what they could do so it, it was amazing and while I have the mic I just wanted to share real quick um, you know, I don't, there's some new faces in here today. Obviously, we see welcome. Um, during worship today, the presence of God was just uh, powerful, as usual. Um, the children up front with the flags, waving the flag and worshiping with a flag is just another extension of how we can worship creatively. Um, that's all that it is. It's just another extension of worship. Um, orange means deliverance. Red means his blood. Purple is royalty. Blue is revelation. Green is life. So it's something by the spirit that God wants to do when you see the different colors. They all have a meaning. White's purity. And he may be doing one of those things within your own life. So I just thought it was a beautiful picture, even the children, you know, we're all to be as children. He says that, you know, that we're all to be as children. So I love looking over and seeing the little ones um, just grabbing a flag and worshiping. And Donnie, I, I love Donnie's heart to worship. Um, many times on Wednesday night at our prayer service, we end with a certain Brandon Lake song. And Danny's the first one, Don, why am I saying Danny? Don is the first one to get a flag and I love the heart it just it just shows his heart for the Lord and worship so I want to explain that just in case some of you may not understood the worship but we are to worship him extravagantly and thank you so much guys for what you bring we love when you're here Jess and Wes oh no Jessica and Wes J <laughs> Maybe I'll get it right. I always call him Jay because their last name's Jay. So it's Wes Jay. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you, guys. Uh, announcements. There's not, I don't believe there's really any. We're going to be four years old in like three days. So life of love. Happy birthday. <laughs> um. Okay. We've got... Um, Tammy Durasa. We honored her yesterday for her birthday. She actually gets to meet with her family today because she was serving um, as one of the conference leaders and speakers. So um, she gets to celebrate. So we do have little cupcakes and little cream horns. If you can't eat them before lunch, take them with you and eat them after. <laughs> There's little napkins and stuff. Um, anyway, we've got uh, Tammy. You have a you have a painting class oh yeah healing encounters tomorrow night 630 it's another extension of the way the Lord is touching people's lives 630 and then we have a sign-up sheet right over here at the visitor center for the paint class October 17th which is a Monday evening at 7 630 for both 630 tomorrow night healing encounters is one time a month and then um, her painting class as well, one time a month, 6.30. All right. So you'll find real quick here, we just let the Lord lead however he wants to lead. Have a plan, but... He can change it anytime he wants, and that's okay with me. I'm going to follow him. What we're about to do is going to challenge each one of you. Skipping through my message to the end.
person. How many of you want a blessing from God? Did every hand go up? You want a blessing from God? Raise, keep them raised. I'm going to see if you not got a hand raised. Who wants a blessing from God? I see some girls back there that don't have their hands raised. You don't want a blessing from God? All right. Yeah. In, in John 13 story last supper Jesus is there already knows who's going to betray him he knows some of us know the ones who betray us bless them bless them Has someone betrayed me the other day and I, I literally I, I was mad <laughs> myself being Jesus we were talking and I'm like why don't we do this this and this you know and he's like no we can't do that <laughs> bless them he said just bless them that's why I'm, just bless them love them let him see the father's love You know, Peter, he was bold. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. He's the one that denied Christ. Jesus is getting ready to wash his feet. He said, you'll never wash my feet. And Jesus said, if I don't wash your feet, you have no part with me. This is scripture. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, because he said you won't be a part of this if you don't let me wash your feet. He said, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Wash my whole body. I believe that's what Jesus wants to do today. He wants to wash our feet. We have six teams that are going to be out here today. And with those six teams, I want you to humble yourself because they're going to have to humble themselves. It's not only humble for you to get your feet washed, it's humble to wash somebody's feet that you don't know, that you've never met. This is what he says. Verse 16, he says, Most assuredly I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master. Nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. Jesus did this as an example for us and he said if you do these things blessed are you he's given us something that he wants us to do in obedience and the reason I bought, brought Thea up here is because she out of obedience knowing that she could just break even or even it be a loss, was not a loss because of the souls that were reached, because of the lives that were touched, because of the ladies' lives that were changed, because of the things that were broken off of the lives, the healing that happened. It's worth it all. It's worth it all. And it was worth it all to her. But Jesus said that we would be blessed if we do this. Nothing wrong with it. 
Your body's clean. He knew there was one amongst them that was not clean. Still washed his feet. And still wants to wash them. So if we can get those chairs out here and, and get this set up, whoever's doing that. <laughs> Listen. Don't be afraid to take your shoes off. Don't, don't be afraid if your feet stink. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Would you lose out on a blessing because of that? Would you want to lose out on a blessing because your feet stink? Man, my, my socks can stand up in the corner sometimes on their own. My mom used to say that. I don't care. I've been over, I've, I've, listen, I've been over in, in Honduras. I've been in Haiti. I've been with hundreds of kids, nailed down in the middle of them, getting a picture. Kids had never gotten baths in weeks. The smell was so strong that I almost passed out. It doesn't matter. I've been at the altar praying with people that just come off the street. That's okay. It doesn't matter. We're going to face them two, three sets. We're going to face one this way and one back here. So we'll have one here the, um, for one of the people to set, and then one will be like this. And then the bowls will be in the middle. So it'll be six stations. The, the ba- they're underneath your chair right there. Grab them. Hold on, I don't know if we got them preset. Hold on, Donnie. <laughs> Darlene, did you find somebody? A partner with you? Okay. Donnie, you can partner with Darlene. I've got a man and a woman at each station just in case a woman don't want a man touching her feet and that's okay. Some of you have been through things and you don't want a guy touching you and that's, that's uh, and some guys might not want a woman touching you. That's alright. You might have some woundedness still. Things that have happened to you in your life. Things that... You know, Sharice shared her testimony yesterday. My testimony's almost identical to hers. I forgive. Just like I've been forgiven. You guys alright with this? Come on. It's going to be good. It's going to change your life forever. we got the water things right here. So, Uwe, if you grab one of them, put them in each chair. So, how we're going to do this, we got 12 workers. They're going to stand right here. One's going to sit in the chair. And then whoever's coming to get their foot washed is going to sit in these chairs right here. So, we're not, you don't have to face everyone you're going to be facing. They're going to wash your feet. How we're going to wash the feet is just going to hold your, they're going to hold your foot up and they're just going to, no, we're just going to dump the water on their feet. It's all right. Yeah, we're just going to dump the water over their feet. We're not going to actually rub them and scrub them and we're just going to, maybe you guys can do mine that way. But we're just, we're, we're, just, we're, we're just going to dump the water, just a little bit of water. We don't have to have a lot of water. It's just, just prophetic act of what God wants us to do. We can have a complete foot wash in one day and we can just get the scrub rugs out and scrub them and whatever. Do we have enough towels to dry their feet with? Okay. Okay. 
So our workers are going to come up here. So have the, have the um, let's have the ladies sit in the chairs first. And if there's any ladies that want to come up and uh, if there's any ladies that want to come up and, and, and have their feet washed with, a, with another lady, then come on up. So if you're getting your foot washed, you're sitting in this chair. Just the ladies are going to be in the chairs for now, so you can sit on the chair. Yeah, you're sitting on the chair, and then you're going to wash your feet. If, ladies, if you want to kneel down, you can. If, if guys, if the ladies want to kneel down, then move the chair out of their way. Be sparingly with that. I gotta go back to Israel and get another bottle. you wash your feet, pray over off. Get ready to come up. <laughs> Mom. Sharon. Right here. Here I am. Take your shoes off. You're going to wash your feet. You're just in time. Hallelujah.
Anybody else? Come on up, line up. Brandy's right here.
Thank you guys for being here today. Thank you for humbling yourselves. It's 
going to bring breakthrough in your life. can leave if you need to. Just hang out for a little bit. Hang out. We're going to worship a little bit more. Just hang out.